Good morning, YouTube peeps. Um, my the head of my bed faces east, and I have a big, huge window here. See? So I'm going to do this so I can talk to you. Um, I had big plans this morning. I was going to film a, um, an unboxing, which I may still be able to do later. Um, but... I went to bed with inflammation in my feet, and I woke up with inflammation so much worse that um, well, just walking, just getting from point A to point B was hard again. I know you guys are sick of hearing me complain about this, um, so I'm not going to complain. Let's just say it's as bad as it's ever been. But as I was, um, you know, dragging myself around the house trying to you know, go pee, get some water, um, take some anti-inflammatory, get back to my bed with, you know, something to do. I brought a hat to crochet while I'm lying here. Then my knee kind of has gone out. I've got that thing where the scar tissue gets pinched inside the, um, you know, the cartilage, so it hurts to move it in any direction. Anyway, so... I get back to my bed and I start thinking about the things that I'm grateful for. I think that when this sort of thing happens and you feel, or rather the temptation is to feel like um, life's really horrible and everything's against you, I think maybe part of fighting back is to decide, is to think about what you're grateful for. So, on that note, um, and in no particular order, I'm grateful for um, over-the-counter anti-inflammatories. I'm glad that that's available. I'm not a big pill taker, as you guys know. I'm afraid of drugs in general, even over-the-counter drugs. But when, when it gets like this, having something that can take the edge off is, um, is a blessing. Um, I'm grateful for running water, both hot and cold. Um, I was quite cold. My foot, the one that's broken, was kind of turning bluish. And I and I was sitting in the other room. Um, I don't have a fire going, and the way my chair and ottoman thing is, is not real comfortable for long term. And I thought, okay, well, I'm not going to be able to sit in here. I'm going to have to go back to bed. And, um, but I had gotten quite cold because there's no fire going in our wood stove today. And it's not a cold day. It's cool. It's not cold, but it's cold in the house. Anyway, so I thought, well, I'm going to stop at the bathroom <laughs> and I'm going to take a hot shower and put on some clean clothes. So I did. I mean, and, and I, the whole time I was thinking, as I was doing this, I was thinking, okay, all I have to do is reach in and turn this knob and hot water comes out and then I turn the other knob and it cools down to the point where I can get in and then I can stand there I mean r reasonably for as long as I want to with hot water hitting my skin warming me up loosening my muscles and it's instantaneous I don't have to go down to a creek and get water I don't have to walk it walk up multiple buckets of water I don't have to you know light a stove or light a fire outside and put the water in a kettle then try to get the water back to a tub of some sort usually a small tub that the where I would have to stand and take my bath and the water would go cold very quickly um, and all of this on inflamed feet that, that feel, you know, like, I don't know what they feel like. They feel awful. But anyway, point is, hot water is um, an incredible blessing. Um, instantaneous hot water. Same is true for cold water. You know, I, I know I need to drink a lot of extra water right now. At least I feel like I do. So all I have to do is just turn a knob and out rushes clean cold water, not just cold water, but clean cold water that comes up from hundreds of feet under the ground. 
Um, that is a blessing. Um, I'm grateful for my talents. I'm grateful that with a crochet hook and some yarn, I can entertain myself and feel creatively satisfied by making some dumb thing. If, in contrast to that, I can't pick up a guitar and sing. I can't play guitar and sing. I can't sing very well anyway. But um, guitar was a, is, is a hard um, instrument for me to learn. In fact, any melodic instrument is hard for me. I'm a good rhythm player. I can play bass like a big dog, and I can play drums. But I'm not, I'm not, don't think in melody. And that is a talent I do not have, and it's a talent that I, I pine for. I kind of mourn because I, you know, with some work I could become passably decent, but it's not a talent. Um, but the talents I do have, the creative talents I do have, I'm, I'm feeling, I feel blessed. I feel blessed. There are, I could go on with this list forever, but those were the things that occurred to me um, as I was making my way back from the uh, from the living room to my bed where I am now and will probably spend the rest of the day. Um, so, I know this sounds kind of, I know it's not exactly preachy or anything, but it sounds really Pollyanna optimistic, but I'm going to put it out there anyway. So, when things are feeling really super shitty um, for you, and they aren't life-threatening things, like, you know, somebody didn't die or something like that, you can't overcome that with, with this attitude. But when it's something like this, like what I'm going through right now, just a big, fat inconvenience, painful inconvenience, um, think about what you're grateful for that has to do with that inconvenience. Like, like for me... I'm grateful for over-the-counter drugs. I'm grateful for hot water. I'm grateful that I have something that can occupy my time while I'm down off my feet. So, I don't know. Just a thought. Just just putting it out there. Um, I'm so glad that um, so many of my friends didn't um, get huge freaking snow. Um, I, I know a lot of my friends did get huge freaking snow as well, but along that upper eastern seaboard it sounds like you guys uh you kind of um you know you dodge that bullet a little bit but those of you that are buried under snow and it's a big inconvenience to you um i hope that your lives get back to normal and that you know the snow melts and you're able to drive on the streets and get to work and get the kids to school and you know do all those things that you need to do as soon soon um, so, other than that, that's about all I have to say. I'm just going to be lying here. Talk to you guys later. Bye.